You may feel you're too overweight or too thin. You may think you've gotten too much sun or too little vitamin D. But have you looked at your hands lately? These appendages are more surefire indicators of your overall health than any other part of your body. From the grooves on your fingertips to the wrinkles on your palms, your internal well-being could be reflected on the external features of your hands. You may wear your heart on your sleeve, but your medical history, your personality, and even your future could be written on the indentations of your 10 fingers. Fingernails Some people like to bite them short as a helper for stressful situations. Others prefer long colored talons decorated with a variety of funky colors. But observing your fingernails in their natural state is helpful in keeping tabs on your health. They can show you whether you lack minerals or vitamins, have thyroid or anemic issues, and have any problems related to the liver. Any unexpected grooves, any brittleness, or weird spots are reason you should get checked by a doctor. The color of your nails can indicate your blood oxygen level. Fingernails are made of the same base chemicals as hairs, so if you want to think of it this way, you can consider nails to be hardened finger hairs. It takes a full six months for a fingernail to grow from the base of the nail bed to the tip of your finger. Many physical deficiencies found in your fingernails could be fixed by adding more zinc to your diet. Foods high in zinc are oysters, nuts, chicken, some edible fungi, and dark chocolate. Additionally, dark streaks or coloring in your nails could be indicators of a deeper problem, and it would probably be helpful to see a doctor. Shaky fingers. If you have shaky hands, it could be a sign of a deeper problem, but usually you might just have too much caffeine or sugar in your system. If you have over 300 milligrams of caffeine in you, and you're not a heavy coffee drinker, you'll probably start seeing some trembling in your smaller extremities. If you haven't had any caffeine whatsoever and your fingers are shaking over nerves, whether it's because of a presentation you have to make or a difficult conversation on your horizon, you're probably shaking because of the adrenaline your body's released in response to even a simple stressor. In most cases, if you try to calm yourself down by saying there's nothing to worry about, it only increases your focus on the anxiety and likely will keep your hands shaking. So the best thing to focus on is the work on your plate rather than the shaking in your hands. Simple breathing techniques help as well like taking a long, slow inhalation of air into your stomach for a count of four seconds, holding that breath for four seconds and exhaling for four seconds. Repeating this at a steady tempo for even a couple of minutes should help steady your nerves and cause your shaky fingers to smooth over. We are very excited to announce the Premium Network. The Premium gets you early access to videos from The Richest, Screen Rant, The Taco, The Sportster, The Things, and many other great channels. Literally thousands of videos in one place with ad-free browsing. Check out the premium by clicking this link. Sign up for free and start binge watching videos from your favorite channels. Finger length and personality. Place your hand on a flat surface and look at the outline of your fingers. The length of your ring finger versus your index finger could say a lot about your personality. If your ring finger is longer than your pointer finger, you may be a gigantic flirt. With your confidence, you may be more likely to take risks and your willingness to put yourself out on the line allows you to reap greater rewards. With this in mind, you may have a lucrative future in sales or entrepreneurship, if you're not in those fields already. Say your index finger is longer than your ring finger. If that's the case, then you know how to take lemons and make lemonade, being a talented leader who's able to find creative solutions to complex problems. It makes sense that, symbolically, your pointer finger is longer than the finger linked to romance and commitment. As someone who's likely to be a boss or an elected official, you're better at barking orders than taking them. Finally, if your ring finger and index finger are the same length, you're probably a well-balanced individual with the ability to communicate both sides of an argument before deciding the path forward. A born mediator, you'd make a perfect therapist. Finger length and relationships. Beyond your own personality, the lengths of your fingers are said to determine how well you interact with others, at least according to the Daily Mail's hand expert, Lori Reed. Those with long fingers determined by whether a finger is at least three quarters of the length of your palm are thought to be more considerate, tolerant, and painstakingly detail-oriented. Shorter fingered people are said to be the opposite. If you and your significant other are both long fingered, you shouldn't have any issues making a new home together. If one of you has long fingers and the other has shorter fingers, you may have trouble seeing eye to eye organizationally and statistically. If you both have shorter fingers, you may be prone to butting heads, but as long as you agree to embrace your differences and more off-the-cuff personalities, you should be fine. Now, having shorter fingers doesn't necessarily mean you're disorganized, it just means you're far too preoccupied with the big picture, like organizing a birthday party or planning for a big meeting than spending time obsessing over the smaller details. Regardless of the size of your fingers, as long as you're an attentive partner, you should have no trouble keeping your relationship healthy. Fingertips 
Just as individual finger length is believed to determine key personality traits, individual fingertips are thought to be indicators as well. The shape of a person's thumb can show just how motivated they are. The same goes for leadership ability driven by your index finger, self-preservation and mental instincts driven by your middle finger, outside the box thinking driven by your ring finger, and speaking habits driven by your pinky. If your fingers are unbent, unscarred, and point forward straight as a rod, then your digits are strong as can be. Any weakness or inadequacies in any finger, and it's believed your corresponding personality may be lacking as well. But reading the shape of each fingertip is more complicated than that. If the outline of your digits are rounded, you tend to prefer unity and agreement over confrontations. If the edge of your fingers, around your nail beds, are square-shaped, you probably prefer detailed plans over general outlines. If you have broad fingertips, shaped like a spatula, you're a more off-the-wall thinker who prefers to break free of strict schedules. And if your fingers end in a more pointed shape, you might have a proclivity towards new-agey and holistic thinking.